Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. My brayer all goofed up. See, nobody's watching me. You see what happens? Need another mop-up sheet, that's for sure. All right, let's get her down here. Did you notice I'm not squeaking? I got another one of these babies because my other one, I used it so much it was squeaking like crazy. It was My pen was falling out and the brayer would go falling on the floor and oh Jesus. So, I got me another one. All right, here we go. Oops, this way. There we go. Trying to lay it down with no wrinkles, if possible, and tighten it up so those creases come out before I do that. Yep. It's a very technical move there. But actually, the one of those mop-ups I showed you, you could see where some of the creases were where the paint did not get into. But it was uh, like a little added texture kind of thing. So it wasn't bad. And I'm pushing this in really good like I do a regular old cleanup on paper. I didn't really do anything different with the fabric than I've done... Uh, when I do it on any kind of paper. So, uh, no special technique that I know of, but again, what the hell do I know? I just do it the way I want to do it, because I can. Now, let me see, am I getting it? That's getting a good bit of it, actually. All right, we're gonna we got what we're gonna get. I think. Here she comes. You can see all kind of stuff from my previous pulls in there. And where the hell did purple come from? It must have been down deep somewhere, but it looks kind of cool. So there you go. A mop. Oh, lost my. There we go. A mop up on the jelly plate on fabric. Um, you see all those different swirls and twirls and colors and all that stuff on there. So there you go. And let me see if I can get back further away from there where you can... Oh crap, he's on the phone again. <laughs> there, see all that shimmer there? Lack of me some shimmer. I do, I do. So, um... I'm thinking maybe I'll change up colors, but I did say I wanted to do one like I started to do before I hosed it up. Did I not? I did. So let's let's do that, shall we? Okay, what the hell did I do? Now somebody speak up and don't let me screw myself up again. Lord, lordy, lordy. Indian hue. Couple little dots of nickel azo gold. And how that got its name. Cobalt teal. Hello, lover. Oh, I could just eat you up. I love you. Okay, here we go. Okay, get that off of there. That's such a pretty clear translucent color in it. Look at that. Yum. Donna Walsh is going to be wanting that for her little bits and pieces she makes, cards and stuff. And Donna, I've been thinking about you today, girl, waiting to hear about how your mom made out. Oh, well, this is going to blend, but it's just going to have to blend. There we go. Getting a little green variation where the two are overlapping. Actually, it's kind of cool. Okay. Stop with the tool, grab yourself a plate. Here we go. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Wiggle it a smidge. Get it good contact. 
and then suck the pain off of that puppy. Good smidge. See all that on there? Oh, you know what? Hello. Hello. Think, girl. Think. What are you doing? Should have got a clean piece of paper. But I don't want that to dry. And I don't want to lose this. Oh, hello. Oh, you know what I was doing? I forgot I was doing these kind of pulls, too. Because I was using this for the inside cover of the journal that I made. Oh, I'll show you that, too. I just put pictures up, but it's doesn't really do it justice. It was hard to, it's hard to get that shimmer on the camera the right way. You know what I mean? Okay. Now this I put on regular cotton. I didn't, the other one like this I put on denim. Got some creases in there, so they're all going to come out pretty white. And that's okay. up a lot of copper in it too that's kind of cool can you see the the copper there you go now you're getting a little bit of a glimpse of what I'm seeing but it's all the way through let me turn this around it's all the way through the whole color all the color bands there where you can see some of that copper in there but I like that in fact I like that so much, I might leave that like it is. I don't know, what do you think? Oh, hell, if I like it that much, a little bit of copper can't hurt, right? That's what I'm talking about. Let's try to pick some of this up. See how quick that dries and how much paint's on there. And you know when I usually jelly plate, there's usually not that much left on my plate, right? Let me see. Did I got you out of the frame a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better in. Good Lord. I'm a wreck. I'm telling you, I'm a wreck. So I want to do... I wonder if the copper's too dark. I'm going to do gold on that. I think I heard somebody out there say, do gold. So we're going to do gold. Oh, I know which tool I think I use. Hold that thought. Sashy over here to my, my little bag of tricks, my drawer of tricks. Eh, not bad. Uh, another little piece. Okay, gold is definitely brighter. That copper is is darker. Faux show. I think this is more translucent too, the gold. All right, this is the one I think I was able to do these like swirls. Was that it? Ooh, it's making me dizzy. <laughs> okay, come here, honey. Here you go. Time to take a dip in the pool. Here we go. I can see a teeniest bit of that coming through in different spots, so hopefully it didn't dry before I get it. Ew. That's not bad. I don't know. It's a little bit more gold than I thought. But see, it's like you can look at it at one angle where you don't see the shimmer and it looks like it did almost. And then you see that little fluff of shimmer. I know this visual thing's probably driving you guys nuts. It ain't doing much for me either, let me tell you. But there you go. Now you can really see it. I'll have to do that napkin over the arm serving thing like I'm the can't say the name. What's the wine dude called? Sommelier. There I go. I said it. 
Okay, so uh, that's not a bad thing. So what do I want to do now? What do I have left? One. I thought I had four. Oh, I do. Here they are. Two more pieces of denim and a piece of cotton and some squares. But I think I'm going to uh, switch up on my... This is actually, as this is drying, this is really getting cool. Let me go this way so you can see the whole rainbow effect. And where that yellow overlapped with the turquoise, the teal, it's got a green color in there, and it's looking really cool with that copper. That's what I'm talking about, people. It's so easy to do. It's just, you know, those foam stamps you can buy at Michael's in the kids' aisle, these plastic containers that have pre-cut shapes that are sticky back. So you just go buy a piece of the thick foam, buy a carton of them, stick those puppies on there, and start stamping your stamping away. Now, I want to do something else with this, I think. But what would you suggest? Eh, nobody's talking to me because we're not streaming. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's, just got, it's got a lot of depth. I don't have to do it tonight anyway, do I? Ah, so there. Just took charge of my own life. Here's this one again. Right, that was kind of pretty. I like that. You know what? I think I might do one like that on denim. And here's this one. This one's turning greener by the minute as it dries. Even the gold over the, the fallow turquoise is making it look like a green-ish off at the distance kind of thing. Well, off at my distance. What the hell do I know? And here's this little schmutz that I did when I had the wrong dealio going there. Okay. So now, you know what? I really want to do something on one of these pattern pieces. Alright, let's make a bold move, shall we? And I think what I'm going to do is go back to the turquoise colors. And I might throw a little PBO in there. How about them apples? Oops, I got a hunk of tag. Why the hell they put these tags on the front of the fabric? Mm -hmm. What do you want for a buck and a half? Come on, work with me, fingers, work with me. Okay, I'm gonna grab another one of my stamps. I didn't use this one yet tonight. Oh, hold on there. I forgot I pulled out one of these I was gonna use. I have to do that like four times on there, four and a half or something. Hmm, you know what, let's do that. That's how crazy I'm feeling. Ah. Yep. Gonna go crazy here, people. Just hold on. Hold on to what you got. So, I think I'm gonna just... I kinda like the line thing, you know, the lines of color. So let's do this. Let's do a little, little peebs in the middle. A little cobalt up here. A little fowler down here. All right, and let's go, we'll just go light to dark, shall we? That's probably not near enough teal on there to keep wet, but we'll see. PBO will start getting in there. Get that smeared around. It's not really how you're supposed to brayer, but I'm breaking every damn roll tonight. You betcha. And I'm just going to keep rolling with this PBO in here because I got so much on there. And let it get this fallow kind of metallicized. I have one big ass plate of shimmer here going on. So hang on, people. Hold what you got. So let's try this baby. Schmutz. Oh, no, a smidge. Sorry, wrong technical term. I don't know who he's talking to up there, but he's laughing, so. Okay, we have this. Oh, 
lord, that made Mojo bark. <laughs> it's me, Mojo. It's just Mother. Just Mumsy. Sweet Jesus, I'm telling you. Did I rip a hole in that? No. Okay. You know what? This one I'm going to go this way because my paint bottles are in the way and I got this about eyed up. It's big enough that I can... I got a lot of extra around the edges. These are those uh, texture plates that are actually for um, fabric and um, they use those... Uh, what are they called? I have some of them. They're paint, oil paint sticks, like big fat crayons. Shika? Shh. Something like that. I can't remember what it's called. That's so weird that this is wet right here coming. Oh, you know what? That's where that heavier PBO was. Huh. What do you know? But here was just a print off the plate. It's kind of pretty with the shimmer in it, huh? Again, we're shimmering. Okay. Good Lord, there goes the phone again. Um, that's not what I was expecting. Call from um, Southwest L. Oh Lord, it's a, um, so. Apparently, I didn't push it all down here in the bottom. See how light that got? But I'll, I do like that print. Um, I do like the, the print, but it, it, you know what? It, did, it didn't, whether the print's on this fabric or not doesn't matter because it's just covering it up. Hello, I should have realized that, but now, now I know. But I'm still picking up some copper through there from my previous poles. Let me take my little mop-up sheet, see if I can get off of here. <laughs> Nothing. Nada. Nope, she's dry. But that means, you know what, that would make a really cool... Hmm. Do I want to bother pulling it out? No, I better not. Okay, now I'm having a conversation with myself. I get it. Um... I'm going to do a cleanup on the denim and see where we go. See what that gets me. My friend Donna told me that she heard that Jerry's Artorama is coming somewhere close to us. And that would be a very dangerous thing. Denim. There we go. Get that on there. Now, in my head, this is going to look pretty cool. <laughs> we'll see what the denim thinks about that momentarily. So, I, I, I need to find somebody that sews. I am not a seamstress. But I have a sewing machine. Imagine that. A little peek. Ah, it's not taking enough of that up. Give me more, give me more. Okay, it is what it is, and it might just be the the denim. Okay, so that's a pretty color, and there's a little flex of shimmer in there, but there, it's very faint on the pattern um, that it that it picked up. You can see that just the tiniest bit in there, but let me do the shimmy shimmy cocoa pop. Where are you? Try the short way. Well, now I'm getting, what am I doing? 
Good sweet Moses. Let me try this way, see if I can open that up a little bit more. A little bit of shimmer. But there's some really neat um, pattern on here. I gotta do something with that. Can you hear me thinking? I can hear me thinking. We're gonna pick it up with paper. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pick it up with some paper. Oh, oh, hold on. As I ask myself what kind of paper, perhaps we will use Eleven and a half, eleven by fourteen sheet of this. I don't know, some kind of artist drawing paper, but that'll give me almost that whole. I'm just going to be short an inch on that one, so that's what we're going to do right there. Now, in my head, <laughs> again, it's going to look pretty good, but we're going to see. I'm running out of tight and buff too. That's not good. I hate when I, I just placed an order with Goldens for a couple things that I wanted or needed. Needed. Let me rephrase that. And um, I just never, I'm telling you, I need to, I need to write, walk around with a notepad in my hand at all times. So I can't remember anything anymore. So here I just paid for shipping and handling for Goldens order. And I need me some more tight and buff. Not too smart, lady, and not too smart. So, let's go here. It's going to go the whole width because it's 14, right? Short an inch at the top, more or less. Get over there. I want the whole page printed. Okay, it's stuck now, so that ain't going to matter. It's a little crooked. But, that's the way it's going to have to go. It's only a little schmutz on the edge there that I'm not going to get. Now this has the potential of being really, really nice. <clears throat> More pressure. More pressure. You know what I think I might do too? My mind's just racing with ideas as I'm sitting here. I'm thinking a little pop on some of these, right? But pray tell which patterns, because none of my stencils are big enough to cover this whole thing. So I'll have to piece them together or do multiple prints on part of the plate. Thinking out loud, can you tell? Okay, let's see what we got. <laughs> there we go. Now we're talking. Yep. That's got way more of the pattern. See the pattern in there? Way more of the shimmer. That picked it all up. Where the fabric is just, but you, it looks like it's fabric. Can you see that? Where are we here? I want to show this piece down here. See that weave in there? I'm not talking about Mr. Ray's hair weave. Yep, that's kind of cool. I like that. But here's what I did with the cleanup. See the difference in the fabric? How am I gonna do this? Ugh. So here's the fabric with the same pull, and here's the paper. Is that like enough to drive you crazy? I don't know if you can see it, but very different in person. I'll try to take some pictures and put some stills up on my Facebook page. Which by the way, my Facebook page is Inky Obsessions. Um, I'm Patty Tally Parish on Facebook as my personal stuff. Um, but I decided with all the pictures I was putting up, I just make an Inky Obsessions um, Facebook page. So if you're not a member there, please go like me 
at Inky Obsessions on Facebook. And you'll get to see pictures of all this stuff and you'll get in on the um, announcements of when I'm going to have a YouTube, when I'm going to stream, when I tried something new and put some pics up, you know, all that good stuff. Um, just want to get this book off the corners here. And I don't usually do this, do I? But I am for this for right now. Right here, right now. Just going to clean that up a little bit. Good enough. All right. Oh, hell. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, I like circles. And you know what? I'm going to try one with just all these, all these circles. What do we got? Got a piece of this. Did I have any more cotton left? No, I didn't cut up enough. So I'll use a piece of... I'll use a fat quarter for this one. That's what we'll do. Oop. You know. Mm. This on fabric and on some like glasses. Why? Oh, why? they put a sticker that won't come off on like glassware that you want to buy and drink out of and you want it to look halfway decent or you wouldn't have bought it and they put these flipping stickers on here you need some kind of nuclear blast to get the damn goop off that ain't even coming off ah. I am right in a company hey company if you're listening don't do this shit. Oh, I said the S word. Oopsie. I can edit it out, but that probably won't take the time. I'll be too tired. <laughs> Oops. Oh, sweet Jesus. Talk about the three stooges. Mm -mm -mm. I might just have to do this on the reverse side and forget the damn stickers. That's what we're doing. You can play at that game. So, you know what? I love these colors, but I'm feeling like I want to do something different. So, hold that thought. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Here's something I don't use much. Quinn Red. And Quinn Magenta. Ooh. I'll bet that'll be a kind of flashy, won't it? Well, that's what I'm feeling flashy, people. So, here we go. Let's see what we got. Quinn Magenta. I don't think I've ever used that. Quinn Red. Don't think I've ever used that. How, how can that be? Watch these will be my favorite colors. My favorite new friends. As Ron White would say. Lord. Hmm. Well the broth. I'll give it that. That's birdie. Okay. All right, here we go with my circles. Off the edge of the page. Little wiggle. Little wiggle. Little wiggle. Oh, you know what I wanted to mention? I saw this website um, thanks to Robin Marie Smith. She had posted it on Facebook the other day. It's called Spoonflower. It's pretty cool. You can upload your images of uh, crap. Oh, well, it's a fiber. Um, of anything. And you can um, have them made into fabric, wallpaper, decals, or gift wrap. And it was so cool because I took some of my um, images of my art. I didn't have anything made. I was just playing with it. You can go in and, you know, just play. And I, I put them into one of those photo editors apps on my iPad. 
and like colorized it and put different focuses on it and stuff and then uploaded it that way so it looked like it was mine but different and I came up with some really cool effects and when you when you multiply that like it's going to be on, on a wall where the patterns repeated um, as many as big or as small as you want it to be it was really pretty cool it's spoonflower.com spoon like you eat with a spoon Ooh, hello look at you mrs circles i like that i do i do a deal let's see if i can pull any of that up You know, I think it must be drier here or something than it was at Ellen's because I was getting a lot of these prints to pull up on paper. And I'll show you some of them. Get the damn string off of there now. So I'm feeling... Gosh, that's pretty. <laughs> if I must say so myself. You know, I like circles. And... Uh... The mixture of those two colors was just subtle enough to make it really look texturized. Let me see if I can, hang on, here we go. If I can get one of these circles up there enough. And there you go. See where it looks like it's like deep ridges in those circles? How stinking cool is that? So I'm thinking, a little silver on there? Silver bells, oh God, don't start singing Christmas songs. Got damn Christmas decorations. I don't mean to say damn Christmas, but I did. Um, but decorations in June and July. Seriously, people. Hey, a little too early for me to get that excited about it. Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. You know, I could probably just stamp... I got some really cool stamps at the Queen's Ink the other day. Thank you, Donna Walsh, for twisting my arm. Spend way too much money. But you can't take it with you. Or as one lady that I met up in, in New Jersey and Create, she said, my husband keeps telling me I can't take it with me. She said, I tell him the hell I can. I'm already decoupaging a coffin. <laughs> I got so tickled over that. Bless her little heart. There we go. I just want a little bit of that. I don't want to cover up my skirkles too much. So, I won't get too... I'm corralling myself in here. I got nowhere to go with this. Hang on. Ooh, that's coming through. See that? Coming through the back because it's this thin fabric. Damn stickers here and here. Now, you can't hate that. That's pretty darn cool. That one came out pretty good. Let's see. Let's let her dance back here. Where the hell are we now? There you go. There you go. Now I found the angle. This angle thing is going to be the death of me. Whew! Mama likey. Oh, yes, Mama do. All right, let's see. I got one more piece of denim. I'm going to do that same thing on denim. But do I, you know what I'm going to do? Hmm. What do I want to mix with those two colors? I wonder if I mixed. Thinking, people, I'm thinking. A little diary log yellow. So I get some of those corally colors to kind of mix up in there. You know what I'm saying? You know how we figure it out? Plop her on down there. And let's see what we get. Diary Lied Yellow. Quinn Red.
coin magenta. And roll it out there. Hey, mama, I'm gonna need sunglasses. Wow. Where's my, ooh, almost lost ya. Off the corner. I'm mesmerized by, oh, damn. <laughs> mesmerized by my own stupidity. Oops. Oops, I schmitzed that one a little bit. Okay, here's my other piece. This is denim, again. I just got a quarter yard of this to play with because it was a little on the pricey side. And I didn't know what it was gonna do. Grand Central Station, how can I help you? Call from Jensen Linda. Call from Answer the phone, hubs. There you go. Okay. Let's see. Oh. Oh, that's cool. And it pulled up some of the silver that was on there, too. I love that stamp on this fabric stuff. I really do. This one even looks deep, doesn't it? Oh, man. I loved you. That one's screaming for a little gold. Goldilocks. Little Goldilocks. That's already dry. That's going to be a fabulous peanut page little gold I don't even know how hour and 22 minutes sweet Mary all right I'm gonna clean it up after this guys because this will never upload till Lord knows when so that's another good thing about the you streaming there's no uploading and I can record for up to three hours so we can go and go and keep talking and yakking and laughing. Can you tell you I'm trying to talk into more you streams just because they're easier on me? <laughs> I will not give up on my YouTube fans. I will still YouTube. I think there's a way to put you streams on YouTube, but I'm looking online so far. I've not been successful in finding that. Got a little tickle. <coughs> oh, to stop this broadcast while I get the Heimlich maneuver. See, if we were streaming, I could tell somebody to call 911. <laughs> Kidding, don't call 911 for Christ's sake, anybody. Just a little tickle, a little bit of Diet Coke washed down. I'm good. Okay, I think this is going to be my last one for tonight, of course, because I will be doing this over and over and over again. But for the pop of black, I'm going to wait on that. And I might add some stamps. Um, and then I might do a layer of paint through a stencil. The shimmer really loses something on the gold, on the uh, denim. You lose a lot of the shimmer. You can see a little bit of the design, right? You can see a little shimmery doodads. Let's see if we get it back here in the frame. Where are you? 
it's there but she oops lost my screen it's there but it's pretty subtle on the denim but it's still really pretty but I love that circle stamp and where in the heck did I get that I found these there's not a name on them anywhere I've looked I found these on a website and I had I got several of them when I found them because they're so hard to find and I like circles and round things so I got this one this one kind of like that font weird different country kind of reminds me of a Greek key sort of thing and this little flower and they're all the same company I'm gonna look that up and find it <coughs> which I try to do one other time and was not <coughs> excuse me was not successful but I just might just dig my heels in and do it so um I think I'm gonna wrap up from here guys because mama getting tired I got a lot of cleanup to do so um but I feel like I'm forgetting to say something what could that be shocker I know <coughs> who the hell knows but anyway here's what we did tonight it's the the quins on the denim here's the quins on the cotton with silver all right This was the mop-up on denim that really was, I'd say that's kind of a fail. I mean, it's still pretty. You can use it for something, and it's a beautiful background. But not, uh, doesn't come up near as nice as uh, the ones on the um, the other fabrics or the paper or whatever. Um, here's this one we did with the plate. This one's still kind of damp. I'm going to leave that up there. I don't know why that's damp. Here's my boo-boo when I meant to pick it up with the stamp and drew through it. But it's this has kind of uh, got a lot of nice depth to it, too. See what I mean, Vern? <coughs> Excuse me. Damn tickle. And here's the first one we did with the fallow cobalt teal and copper on top. I think that might be my favorite of the night. And then here's this one on denim. Um, let me see if I can get you to pick up that copper, that little glint of copper that's in there. Why oh, won't you work? There you go. There you go. Sheesh. Stick with it. Finally come into focus. Alright. There's that one. Here's this one where I did the fade from the the uh, Azo to the Indian Hue to the Cobalt Teal. Right, this is the one that I said I liked better before I added the copper layer. I think it took away from it on the denim. See, the denim, is, you don't see that shine of copper um, on the denim. It looks, looks more like bronzy colored lines than, <clears throat> oh, here's the one cleanup I did. See, there's the cleanup on the, on this cotton muslin fabric as opposed to that cleanup on the denim. See that huge difference there. <clears throat> there, this is like solid, solid paint came off of there and all shimmer. Um, and here's the cleanup we did on the piece of paper. And that came out much better. And you can see the pattern and everything in there, right? Uh, and this is just the one stamp that I cleaned off on there. Oh, I know what it was. I knew there was something else. Oh, what's this on my lap? Oh, sweet Mary. This one's on my lap. Um, that one's pretty nice, too. I like it. I was going to show you, pardon my reach, the jelly journal that I made out of the fabric at Ellen's house the other day. I put pi pictures of this on my uh, Facebook page. So I tried something different. I tried to make a journal with a flap. Right? And with a little magnet in there. The magnet, I gotta tell you, is not so... Oh, and it's not sticking. Oh, the magnet is a fail. That's not good. But I'll have to figure that out. <clears throat> well, okay. So that's that part's not such a good idea. But, 
here is the fabric that I did. Right, and there, and there you can see it much better than the pictures that I had online. I took it from every angle, inside, outside. I couldn't make you see the glory of its loveliness. But now you can see that that gold is on top of there. Some cobalt teal, a little bit of PBO turquoise. I don't know what yellow I used, and some chocolate brown. Who knows? But um, I. Oh, here's a good example. Okay, so here, this was a cleanup page that I was doing as I printed this series of the fabrics that I did. And let me see if I can get you to see this. It looks like fabric itself because it picked up that weave. Can you see that? So I used it for a lining inside the jelly journal. And I decided instead of just jelly journals, the tribe and I were thinking, you know, it needs a different name. It is a jelly print journal. But I said, you know, this is cool for somebody that's um, wants to art journal, but is not so big on the art, and they are stuck as far as a blank page stare down kind of a thing, and um, don't know how to begin with a background. It's kind of like an instant background book, right? So... Um, I believe I'm going to call these, what do we call them? Jelly Jumpstart Journals or something like that we were talking about. But um, anyway, you kind of got like an instant background there. You can put some gesso over it and make a, you know, collage over it and do whatever you want. But your background is instantaneously there. I left some blank pages in this one purposely. Um... And then I did the flap with a contrasting but coordinating cover. Put a little key on there. <clears throat> These are the beads that I decided to put on this one. Oh, and look at the paint on my hand they go with. A little copper. Ceramic. That turquoise one. That's one of my lamp work beads down here. Where the hell are we? Uh, down here on the end. A little sea glass chunk. Well, it's not really sea glass. It's plastic or something but there it is so um that's that was my intention for starting to do this on fabric and there's one in person then I actually whipped together two more covers I tried the tab a different way here's one this was inspired by that first one I did on paper um with those stamps and the wipeout on it so I did the same colors and the same stamp and the same gold wipeout it's not as vibrant on here as the paper, but it's still pretty toot and cool, actually. Um, and I just made the cover. It's not finished. But this one, I tucked the tab down inside the back of the material, and it's glued in. Um, and I painted it all gold. And you can see the brush marks in there, so it kind of looks like fabric, too. Eh, you know, what the hell. Just playing, seeing what I, what I like and what I don't like. And here's one I did. Um, I don't know what this was. What was it? I don't know what colors this was. Fallow, but that that might have been a PBO for that brighter turquoise in there. And then copper over it. The copper came out pretty good on this one. Um, so there you go. This one doesn't have a tab. I just did the cover. Preparing for a pages of loveliness to be inserted. So... That's my deal on my jelly fabric. That's what I've been doing. That's what I will continue to do. And I'll let you know what I come up with in addition to just doing these puppies and see what uh, Leslie Riley comes up with. She is quilter extraordinaire, and I took a class from her in um, Virginia Beach this year. Um, she was telling me I should be teaching my jelly journals at the next Art and Soul but um, I'm not sure about that, but she is awesome. I don't know if you guys have ever taken a class or know her in person. She's got tons of books, tons of videos, and all kind of stuff. And she's just the sweetest, most fun person. Um, love her. So there you go. We're signing it off, peeps. Mom is tired. Haven't been sleeping again. Here's another hunk for you, Donna. Um, that's it. 
we're out here at Inky Obsessions blogspot.com. Don't forget my Facebook page is Inky Obsessions also. See ya!